dish called chicken biryani. It's an Indian dish, um, but it's a very simplified version of uh, chicken biryani, which is a very complex dish. Uh, so I'll go through the ingredients here. So what we what we need uh, for chicken biryani? Of course, we, we let's start with rice. So this is basmati rice, uh, soaked in water for last 20 minutes. Uh, so we are supposed to soak it for half an hour before we cook it. And here they have salt, turmeric, turmeric powder, uh, chili powder. Uh, that's the canola oil, or you can use the oil of your choice, vegetable oil. And here we have the spices here, they are not powdered. We have a cinnamon stick, uh, caramel, bay leaves, um, black caramel, uh, then this is uh, cloves and some green chilies. And this is uh, mint leaves, uh, cilantro, uh, chicken, uh, which is marinated in, uh, in yogurt, and turmeric powder, chili powder, and uh, salt. And it's been marinated for last uh, two and a half or three hours, close to that. Then you have uh, ginger garlic paste, which is mixed already. Um, then some chopped uh, tomato, maybe four small tomato. Then some crushed uh, um, uh, garlic. Um, then you have peeled uh, potatoes and onion, uh, which is around four onion. Then the final one is the, is the boiled egg. Uh, which is already boiled there. Let me start with the, the cooking. Uh, put some vegetable oil or the oil of your choice. Uh, switch on the thing. Uh, you wait until the, uh, the, the bowl is warm before you, you, you start putting the oil. So this pretty much depends on your own choice, preference, how much oil you want to put. So once the oil is hot, so wait for a few minutes, a uh, couple of minutes maybe the, until the work. Then you have the chopped onion here, there is a four large, big size uh, chopped onion. You can use it either white or red, either of them is, would be okay. Then once the oil is warm, you can fill it, then you, you put the... Uh, put the entire onion there. Then once you put the onion, you need to constantly stir it so that the onion does not burn. So it takes some time uh, until you need to fry it until the, the onion is brown, golden brown color, golden brown color. So it takes probably at least uh, 15 minutes to uh, get that color there. So if you if feel the oil is less, you can put uh, additional oil if it's needed because you need the oil to fry the onion. So I try to put as less as possible. So you need to constantly stir the onion or it will burn. You don't want to burn the onion, you want to make it very uniform golden color. So I the paste and put in the put the ginger garlic paste and stir it for at the same time you can actually put all the other spices that's the cinnamon roll there uh, cinnamon stick put the cinnamon stick uh, put the cardamom the whole cardamom, uh, put uh, bay leaves and uh, cloves and this is the last one in there is the, is the black, uh, uh, black cardamom there. And if you, if you like to you can put few uh, green, green chillers to make it more spicy. Uh, based on your test. So you can see here it's uh, burning a little bit, so put it more like a low medium because it will start burning once you put uh, uh, ginger garlic paste. So now you need to constantly stir it because the, the ginger garlic paste will stick to the bottom.
So now you are getting his golden color base there. Put it in a very medium heat. And also same time you can put salt, uh, basically suit to your taste. You can come back and put more salt if it is needed in the, in the end, but now you can just put it depending on. Also I put pinch of uh, uh, red chili powder. And now we are ready to put uh, chicken, oh sorry, I think I forgot, let me put some, some uh, tomato there. Right. Once you put tomato then you have to maybe raise the heat little bit so that the tomato gets cooked. So you cook it until tomatoes are completely mixed with the, with the onion and other base there. So once you are done you can you can put the marinated chicken. Uh, this chicken has only thighs and, uh, and uh, drumsticks uh, marinated with uh, yogurt and turmeric powder, salt, you can put I want to put the whole thing maybe too much. One more piece you can put. Same time I also put the peeled potatoes. Once you mix it properly then, then cover it for the chicken to cook but keep coming back and uh, uh, to make sure it does not stick in the bottom. Uh, you take you take the thing and put maybe 3 fourths of water for cooking the rice. Put the, put the oven in the high heat so that the, uh, the water will start boiling then put salt on the on the water so basically it will cook on its own the oil the water coming out of chicken it will be cook on those so you need you don't need to put any water in this thing. So what I am doing is uh, boiling the water. So in the boiled water I put the, the, the soaked rice, already rice which has been soaked before. You can use the, uh, I do not, I don't, I think I put more so I just so if the water is too much then you can uh, drain some water out. So I put cilantro leaves on the, on the chicken curry there. So I am going to move this to very low heat there so that I am waiting for the chicken to boil. 
Okay, sorry, water to uh, rice to boil there. And I spread the mint leaves here. Uh, bring the bring the heat to the low. And once you are done there, uh, you basically transfer slow eventually the drained rice. Once you do that, uh, bring it to very low heat there and cover it up. Once you kind of make it a spread it evenly and then cover it. Cover it, you should need to keep it for like at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, to rice for the rice to cook and get soaked in the chicken uh, chicken soup there. That's pretty much it. Once in uh, once it's done, we'll be ready to serve. So it will it's on very very low heat uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. We'll just keep it for rice to 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 fully cooked and get mixed with the uh, with the chicken and the in the rice. Okay, so on the top of that, we'll just put uh, this boiled egg. Now it's ready to be served. So let's take it to the dining table there. Get a thing.